If you are just starting out with PTP learning and wondering how to invest 1000 euros, this video is for you. Today, I will give you a framework for how a beginner should invest in P2P loans to generate monthly interest. By the end of this video, you will have a clear idea about how to invest 1000 euros in P2P loans while avoiding some costly mistakes. I'm your host Jakub from PTP Empire and if you are interested in learning more about how PTP learning works, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to avoid missing out on future videos. Alright, so if you have just discovered PTP learning and are thinking about investing your first 1000 euros, you might find it challenging to choose the right platform that fits your investment strategy. That's not a big deal as today I will make the decision for you much more straightforward. I won't be telling you in which specific platforms to invest but rather give you a framework that I've which someone had given me five years ago when I started investing in loans. This framework will help you maximize your returns and minimize the frustration with investments in certain specific platform types. All right, so first we have to acknowledge that a 1000 euro investment isn't going to make you rich. The expected return from this amount should be around 100 euro per year, which might not make a significant difference in your life. The primary goal of this investment is to learn how PTP learning works and gain valuable experience which you can use to become a better investor and make more money in the long run. The secondary goal is to have a good experience. Chances are that if you make a poor decision now and lose money, you won't invest in loans anymore as you lose trust in this asset class. All right, so how can you use your investment of 1000 euros to learn as much as possible while making sure you have a good experience? Well, this is what I would do. If I started all over again, I would begin investing on a P2P lending platform. So basically investing on a platform that is also in charge of the loan issuance or has close ties with the lending company. If you don't know what I am talking about, I suggest pausing this video and watch this clip where I explain the various platform types in more detail. The primary reason why I would prioritize investing on a P2P lending platform is that the company has live insights into the performance of the loans which is not the case with P2P lending marketplaces. Another aspect I would prioritize is liquidity. As someone who is just starting out with P2P lending, you might want to have the option to withdraw your investment if you decide that it's not the right fit for you. To do that, you would have to invest in short-term loans or on a platform that offer a liquid secondary market where you can sell your loans and exit your investment. What I believe is crucial for beginners is to not overcomplicate the investment strategy. Following a complex strategy with various requirements will likely not yield the best results. A complex strategy might include investments in emerging markets, newly established lending companies or in platforms with many features. Some investors might also speculate on the secondary market and buy off investments at a discount to potentially increase their returns. This isn't something I would recommend especially if you are just starting out. Bringing more complexity into your investment strategy can be useful to test certain features or just gain some additional experience. It's however not something that you should be focusing on in this stage. In order for you to have a good experience, you should keep it simple. So what do I mean by keeping it simple? Well, for starters, you should choose a platform that offers an auto-invest. It's a good practice to set up a minimum investment of 10 euro per loan to achieve a good diversification of your portfolio. With this setup, you will spread your investments of 1000 euros across 100 loans, giving you a good level of diversification. You should not invest all of your money into a single loan. This isn't a good practice as you inflate the potential default risk. Regarding diversification across countries, I would suggest sticking to Europe. Most European lending companies are regulated by local authorities and provide insights into their finances. Investing in emerging markets is certainly riskier and it won't give you any added value, especially if you're just starting out with P2P lending. Many investors are trying to figure out on how many platforms they should spread out their investments. There is no ideal answer for this question as it comes to your individual needs. I would suggest limiting the exposure to a maximum of three well-established platforms. You can choose less, but I would not go with more as there isn't really any benefit to it, especially not if you are investing just 1000 euros. Remember that the more platforms you choose, the longer it will take 
take you to do your initial research and monitor your investments. A platform's initial research should include information about the management, legal setup, financials, and the business model. After familiarizing yourself with all those points, I suggest educating yourself about the latest developments to see whether there are any red flags you should be aware of. We have a dedicated red flag section in every review, as well as in our newsfeed, so I suggest you bookmark it to be up to date on the latest news that may impact your investment. You can also watch a bunch of interviews with founders or CEOs of various standing platforms on our YouTube channel. As we are self-funded and the production of interviews costs a lot of resources, we also have a membership site where you can access even more exclusive content. Remember, however, that the P2P lending space is changing rapidly and that some information on YouTube might be outdated. You should certainly keep an eye on our news feed where we add new information almost every day. Something I also learned over the years is to not blindly trust the statements of a platform that you can find on its website. The truth is that in 90% of the cases, it's just marketing trying to convince you to invest your money. The best way to sort through all that noise is to reach out to the platform with critical questions that are not answered on the website. If the answers from the support are vague or you don't get any answer, just stay away from the platform. At the end of the day, those people will manage your hard-earned money and if they can't answer your question, you should look elsewhere. So that's how I would invest 1000 euros in P2P loans if I started again today. If you're on the fence about a specific platform, you can head to P2P Empire to read our dedicated reviews. If you decide to go ahead and invest your money to get a solid yield, you can also use our cashback bonus page where you will find all sorts of bonuses which will increase your return. Remember that this video is no investment advice. You should research the platform properly and monitor the news surrounding your investments. P2P lending is risky and you might lose your money. To mitigate the risks, I suggest watching one of our latest videos where we dive deeper into various risk factors you should consider. So that's been all from me today. I hope you have found this video helpful. If so, do me a favor and hit the like button. Also, let me know how you would invest 1000 euros today and why in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll get you in the next one.